Sometimes you just got to stop and clean up your finds. All right, that's what we're doing today. Let's do it a little bit. All right, sometimes you just got to stop and clean up your finds. Uh, I just took my kyanite out of the acid, which has been there for a right good while. Let's check it out. This is some beautiful, beautiful specimens of uh, kyanite. And the sun's not out today, but hopefully you can see the beauty in that right there. Look at that on the edge right there. Look at that kyanite running through that. Some of it is almost gem quality, too. It's really clear. But look at all these. Let's check a, just a couple of them out here. Look at that one right there with it coming down right here. Isn't that awesome? That is beautiful right there. And let's see a couple of these other ones here. Look at the garnets inside here. Some of these got some huge garnets. Nice, beautiful garnets in them. Uh, some of this quartz running through it too. Uh, I, uh, it's got to be cleaned up some more. But it's just beautiful. beautiful right there. Look at the size of this one. This one here must weigh, oh my God, 15 pounds right here. But it's kind of running all through it. And uh, look at that piece right there, that blade right there. Anyway, we've got some awesome specimens here. I'm really happy with that. Look at the garnets all on the back side of that right there. Now, I just took it out of the acid. And what's going to happen now is i got to flush this out for the next few days because the acid actually leaches into the rock and actually kind of rocks somewhat coarse, especially this uh, mic and everything. So it's got acid in it. So I'm going to have to flush it, flush it for several days now just to get the acid out. Get the sun dried out good. And then I'm going to coat it with uh, sealant. So it kind of stays together. Some of it's a little crumbly, but once I coat it, put that on it, it'll be nice and beautiful. Can't wait to get it all finished up. But this is just part of the process. Um, also, too, I want to show you one more thing. This right here. Look at that. That's that uh, piece of shell I found the other day. I had an electrolysis now for a few days. And this, uh, all the little pieces on it kind of have chipped off now. Once you put an electrolysis, it causes all the pieces to come off, you know, that will actually uh, corrode onto it and all. So it looks, it's looking pretty good now. I'm going to go ahead and dry this out. I'm going to put it on my grill actually to dry it out really good and I'll show you in just a few minutes here what we're going to do to, to um, seal this up and cure it out. It's going to be pretty cool. You wouldn't see that. Alright, let's keep working. We've got a few more things to work on. Alright, here we go. Alright, now we're going to clean up some of these old fossil shells. Five million old fossil shells. And I actually got a request for uh, uh, from a school. I might, these might be going to a school to some of the students at the school. But you still got to clean them up to get them ready to go to school. So you always got some of these edgy city things, got million year old stuff all over. So I clean them out best I can, get those stuff out of them. And then after I do that, sometimes it's kind of neat to leave some of this stuff in them, just to show. I'll kind of knock off some of that right there, but kind of leave some of it in there to kind of show the uh, what's in them and all. But uh, what I'll do after I do all this, I'm gonna clean them all up. Now I actually coat them with about a 50-50 mixture of uh, Elmer's glue and water. And what that'll do, that'll, the pieces that are loose, not that one, but some of these pieces that are loose that might come off, it'll actually seal it right to it so it won't come off anymore. It'll make it real solid. So you don't have somebody kid holding it and the pieces coming off. It'll, it'll pretty much seal them all up. But some of that's kind of cool to see some of the old con concretions still attached to it sometimes. Like this one right here. Check it out. This is actually a whole shell together and then another shell concreted to it on the outside. So you can see it's a whole shell right there. That's pretty cool looking right there. I hadn't cleaned it up yet so I'm going to clean that up. Probably knock some of that off right there and make it look pretty as I can make it look before I seal it up with the Elmer's glue. Pretty cool though, huh? It's always working on something though. Yeah, everything doesn't just come clean when you get out of water and whatever you find you got to do a lot of work to it sometimes. Even the coins off, you really want to clean them up. I haven't really got to the coins yet. Um, I try to leave them the best I can, but if it's a coin that doesn't have any value, but you want to look pretty, you know, you can do a few things to it to make it look good. So, might work on some of them too in a little bit. All right, stay tuned. Let's go check on this uh, cannonball shell I'm working at just right now. All right, I was hoping this would stay together. This is that one that had the shell on top of it right here, but it came off, and then as I was cleaning it up, look at this, it came off. We still have both halves, but look at this. It's, it would have probably came apart eventually anyway, but let's clean it out now. Let's see what it looks like. We've certainly got everything out of it now, and it will be a great showpiece now. I think that's cool right there. When you get the two halves together, that is so cool. It'll fit perfect in there. 
Isn't that cool looking? Five million years old, both halves of the, of the uh, scallop. That's cool right here. All right, that's it on that one. We'll go ahead and seal that one up like it is and go ahead and clean the rest of these up. Be done with the shells here. We gotta go ahead and load these things up in the bucket so we can start flushing these out right here. All right, it's a never ending process when you're a treasure hunter. All right, let's keep getting them. All right, I'm actually gonna heat my shell fragment up on the grill. Get it up to about 300 degrees, that way any water or moisture inside it will be gone before we, then let it cool down a little bit before we uh, actually put a coating on it. All right, we're gonna wait till it heats up and cleans up first. All right, I'm ready to put the rust converter on my shell frag. Let's check it out. This is the stuff I use right here. Gippler's rust converter. I just pull a little bit of them up in my container right there. And just get a little bit of my brush. And we just start painting it away. This stuff will make this thing, it will kind of like turn it black. And it makes it look really cool, I think, when it's done here. What we'll do is we'll flip it over here. Paint this side here. Get all on the edges here. Now I'll put maybe three coats on it, and it will turn, it'll look cool when it's done. And you see my cannonballs I've done in the house here, how they look. I'll pull one out in just a second and show it to you. You see how it looks. But I'll do, uh, like I said, I'll let this dry, let it dry good, and it'll like turn black. And then we'll put us, I'll put three coats on it for it with. And I always use, um, put on plastic, because if you put it on paper, it will actually dry and the paper will stick to it, so you don't want to do that. Make sure you got it on plastic something that won't stick to it. Alright, that's it. That's all I do right there. And it works awesome. Let's go ahead and check out the cannonball. I'll show what it looks like after it's done. Alright, here's the cannonball I'm out. This is one of the ones I found here and I put that stuff on. Look how it's got a nice sheen to it. Uh, it's not real glossy enough, but it's got like a little sheen to it and gives it a nice black color to it there. I didn't do the fuse of course, but uh, this is the iron part after I do the electrolysis and then put that uh, rust convert on it. It looks really cool. All right, uh, let's keep trying to get our stuff together here. Well, I thought, thought I'd show you this one. This was one I d did probably three years ago. And look at it. It's still got a nice, nice coat on it. There's no rust coming through anywhere or nothing. It still looks really good. And this is the one I actually cut in half. This is called a case shot. You see the shot inside the camera when it blew up it threw all this little case shot everywhere and this is actually a case shot camera too and i've considered cutting this one here and see what's in this one this one actually you can see they poured like a tar substance in here and they use different material when they pour it in there and i'm um, thinking about doing this one too but i hadn't decided if i'm gonna cut this one in half but uh, look that's all the powder that's in one of these shells it's amazing that's all it is you think this thing's full of powder all the powder is in about the size of your finger right there. All the powder it took to explode the shell up and throw shrapnel everywhere. Anti-personnel, even back in the Civil War. Pretty cool, huh? All right, well, we're going to finish cleaning up a few more things, and we'll be done. All right, one last little maintenance thing before I sign off here. I got a secret thing I'm working on. It's a call, I call it a crevice-sucking device. I got a pump on the side of this uh, bucket. It puts a suction pressure on this, and then this hose right here sucks out of the crevices. You can see it going inside here. I had to put this in here to keep it from collapsing the bucket. I tried it at first, and the whole bucket just collapsed. And uh, from the, so much suction pressure, it sucked, it worked good. It sucked it up really good, sucked the, the gravel right in there. You see it in the bottom down there. But I'm making one more modification. This is at 800 gallons per, per hour. I'm going with a with a 1200 gallons per hour and we're going to take it up maybe next thursday and try it out you're not going to believe how good this thing works all right we're always working on something good for another good video for you so i just want to give you a little quick update and um we're going to get going and hopefully thursday we'll do a little test run on my new crevice sucking tool all right stay tuned